<laughs> if Captain Hook was moonlighting as a handyman, he might replace his hook with what tool? A hammer. Try again. A penis. Tell me the age a kid is too old to sleep with a ten... What the <laughs> he said? <laughs> Come on, we can't start this again. <laughs> we can't, come on now, we can't go again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can't go again. I'm, I'm sorry. Let go, let go, let go. We can't I'm go sorry. again, let go, let go. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm... <clears throat> Name the age women start losing interest in sex. 35. A few moments later. When, when she said 35, I almost dropped the card. Yeah. I'm 32. You're 32? Oh, she's got three years to go, this girl. Boy, oh boy. The age women start losing interest in oh. sex. Said 30, 35, didn't you? Right. Survey said. Right, okay. Well, that's the bad news. The good news, they pick up again at 37. <laughs> More moments later. 20 seconds on the clock. In the age women start losing interest in sex. 30. Two seconds later. Well, I got good news and I got bad news. <laughs> the good news, you've been living on borrowed time for two years. <laughs> she just told us she was 32. What sort of an answer is that to give? <laughs> How old are you? 32. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, anyway, we said, what was the age? You said 30, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Lord alive. <laughs> Service sin. Zero. All right, here we go into final Jeopardy. The category is 2004, and here is the clue. On Monday, December 13th, three people designated these will meet in Cheyenne, Wyoming, to help decide the world's future. 30 seconds, good luck. More moments later. Ken gave this a great deal of, look at that face. He's so serious now. Not a good day? <laughs> <laughs> no way to talk about our electors. It costs you 10, eight. Top seven answers on the board, here we go. We asked 100 married women. Some days I'd be willing to trade my man for a really good what? Pool boy. A good what? I'm sorry. What did you just say? <laughs> no. I was just playing. Right here. No. I was just playing. Yeah, but, yeah, but what did you say, though? Pool boy. Off of me. Trade me in for no damn pool I'm boy. Sorry. Pool boy! A few moments later. I ain't forgot about that pool boy thing. Oh, exactly. I, was just I, was just I know, don't worry this about it. There ain't no game. This ain't no damn game. This is our family. This is why I want to, this why I want to come on the show. I'm not gonna have this game show break up my family. I know. I know. Now this whole thing gonna go to hell over a damn pool boy. <laughs> the spring wildflower garlic mustard has what alternative name? A. Jack by the hedge. B. Tom by the tree. C. Dick by the bush. <laughs> It's always me, it's always me. Good Lord. Which of these US presidents appeared on the television series Laugh-In? Lyndon Johnson, Richard Nixon, Jimmy Carter, Gerald Ford. Um, <laughs> I'd like to call my parents right now. Sure. Use my lifeline, call my parents. Two seconds later. Hello, Tom. Yeah. Hi, Regis Philbin here from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hi. We've got uh, your son, John, uh, with us right now. He's doing pretty well. Good. 
He's won a half million dollars. Wow. And he's going for a million dollars. <laughs> and he needs your help to get there. Okay. So he's going to come on the line, read a question, four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. And uh, the next voice you hear will be John's. John, you've got 30 seconds. Starts right now. Uh, hi, Dad. Hi. Uh, I don't really need your help, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to win the million dollars. <laughs> Uh, because the U.S. president appeared on Laughing is Richard Nixon. That's my final answer. Well, my gosh. What can I say except, Debbie, you're going to Paris, and this is the final answer heard all around the world. He's won a million dollars. We're dealing with famous products. Here comes the clue. First designed as a surgical disinfectant, in 1895 it was available to dentists, and by 1914 was sold over the counter. 30 seconds, players, good luck. A few moments later. Patricia, we begin with you. Which product did you think of? I what? said it's the um, same as whatever Ken's answer is. <laughs> You do not have the benefit of looking at Ken while the music was playing. I'm not sure he had an easy time with this clue. What did it cost you? Patricia, 1700 All right, that'll drop you down to 3300 Who goes to get married at the wrong church? A, Fanny Robin. B, Fanny Sparrow. C, oh, please, for God's sake. Disgusting show. <laughs> Please. Pull yourself together, everyone. It's so unnecessary. Take no notice, Leslie. It's so uncouth. I don't know this one. You don't know it? No. Well, I'll tell you which one it ain't gonna be, love. <laughs> you you bet not I'll put C, Leslie. <laughs> Hasn't this been a fabulous game? Let's see what happens now in Final Jeopardy. Famous ships, the category, here comes the clue. In December of 1620, this vessel came ashore at a secondary destination because of a shortage of beer. 30 seconds, players, good luck. Two seconds later. Harry, we'll start with you. You had 4,800 and you rode down. What is the H... <laughs> the HMS Budweiser. Is there a problem? <laughs> there is no problem, and when you get home tonight, there'll be a Clydesdale in your garage. <laughs> That's incorrect, and it costs you 4700 taking you down to I'm 100... still in the game. <laughs> still in the game. Yes, and your charity is guaranteed at least $10,000. You know that. More moments later. It all depends on what Nathan did. He wrote, what is the Budweiser? Great minds, Great minds think, think alike, and it costs you how much? 10000 but your charity... Equity Cares will receive $10,000 as well. And Jody, your charity will receive $21,600. What a great way to start. Thanks to all three of you. Fabulous, wonderful game. So long, everybody.